Want to sound like Jan Hammer? Yeah. We've got you covered. Want to get that big crunch? Yeah. Yeah, we've got that too. How about some AI rain? Yeah. Now we're talking. Did you just go out and buy Synth Anthology 4? Yeah. And do you have Falcon? Yeah. If you said yes, then keep watching because we've got some tips for you. If you said no, well, keep watching anyway because you just might want to send some money overseas to the land of croissants and baguettes. You know, buy them a lunch or two because SA4 plus Falcon is a powerful combination. Let's dive in. I hate crowds. 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 First, we're going to talk about this guy. You know, the guy that wrote this theme song. I'd play the theme song, but then there would be a bounty on my head, and I would have to go to Black Market YouTube, or maybe even something's something worse. Wrong. I know something's wrong. The Lawrence Welk Show. There are a few characteristics to that massive 80 sound, and we're going to try to recreate them. First, start with a couple of keyboard patches. We've got the Edith synth from the Yamaha AN1X on the left, and the Steady Analog from Dave Smith's OB6 on the right. Neither one of these instruments is from the 80s. Hmm. I don't believe I tweaked the amp and filter on these much, but here are the settings for the A and B synth. Note that I am doing a fair amount of FX sends to delay and reverb, and this is to help get that lush 80s reverb effect. I've also changed the impulse response on the convolver to a medium plate and turned the time down a bit. Most plate and room options here will sound pretty good. This sounds decent, but it doesn't have that 80s sparkle. This is where Falcon comes in. Since Mr. Hammer used an ARP in his 1984 masterpiece, we're going to try out Falcon's Ostinato ARP. This is located under the layer section. Go to the event strip and hit the plus. The ARPs are under the script processor, scripting pulldown section. You can play around with this a bit, but the settings I used are a combination between a 1 quarter and 1 16th speed, with a few adjustments to the Euclidean section and the probability of panning and spread. Note that you will need to go into the List tab here and change this script under both the A and B layers. They don't have to be the same, but turning down the speed on most of the four ARPs is recommended. If you've never seen an ostinato ARP before, you can get an idea of what it does by turning all the layers off and then turning them on one by one. With all four, you get this lush, chorusy type effect, especially when you make these slight changes. This is part of that 80s Miami sound. I love this effect, and it's one reason you should check out Falcon, or learn to use it if you have not done so, because it is incredibly powerful. We're not done though, because now we're going to frost the cake with some mega delay style reverb. Go to the edit tab and hit the plus button here. Add the dual delay X with the warm and big preset and turn the amount down to around 25%. Then do the same thing and add the diffuse delay with the ambient preset. This will need a little tweaking. Turn the mix down to about 30%, the delay time down and the damp to around 60%. Now listen to the tail of this thing, before and after. That is so incredibly lush sounding, and what a difference the right effects can make. Note that the diffuse delay is the key here to get that black hole reverb sound. If you play with the damping, it can go from more of a sizzle type effect to a smooth sounding reverb. This is one of my favorite effects to use. Was that too much 80s for you? Well, let's talk about getting that serious 1970s crunch sound, but with a modern twist. Load up a new patch in SA4 to clear out any of the extra changes that you made in Falcon. Then load up the Analog Solutions Colossus ASC Saw 2 patch and the Virus C Ultra Funky patch. Set your mixer to favor the virus C slightly. Turn on the crush to about 60%, the tone to around 40%, and the feedback to 50%. Next, go into Synth A and set your filter controls thus. Make sure that the mono retrigger is on and that you are one octave down. Then turn on the wave shaper 
the phaser, and equalizer. Check your settings against what I've got here, but adjust to taste. Note that I have step sequencer 1 to randomize the wave shaper mix slightly. This gives it that tube slash organic feel. In synth B, you're going to do the same thing pretty much, except I kept the phaser off and left the wave shaper mix at 100%. Finally, go to the FX tab and turn on the drive with an amount around 8 or 9%. All of that sounds like this. Not bad, but here's where Falcon comes in. Go to the Edit tab and hit the plus on the FX bar. Pull up Analog Crunch under the Drive slash Distortion section and use the Honest setting. Now you've got some serious crunch. The combination of the phaser and the step sequencer give it kind of a live slash glitch feel that's a hint of Led Zeppelin mixed in with a hint of Richard Devine. The last example I have is a unique ambient style patch. Start with just the Emu Morpheus FX EUS1. By itself, this doesn't sound like it would have much use, so let's make it useful. First, turn on the filter. Set the cutoff to around 1.84 kHz and turn up sequencer 1 to 100%. Set the sequencer to the maximum number of steps and make it really random. You can turn up the smoothing too. For the send effects, I turned on the convolution reverb and the delay. We're essentially trying to scramble the sound a bit. To really do that, we are going to add two delays and a granulizer on top of the normal SA4 effects. Go to the Edit tab, hit that plus one under FX and find the granulizer from the modulation menu. Select the Slow Octavia Diffuser and adjust the mix to slightly below 50%. Next, add a Velvet Delay and use the default settings. Finally, add a Diffuse Delay with the ambient settings and make the following adjustments. Now you've got a sound that's somewhere between ambient crickets, rain hitting a metal roof, and some odd machinery. Playing with the delay, granulizer, and filter settings can make this sound more like rain or more like crickets, etc, etc. That's cool, but we want to layer something over the top of that. I picked the really nice Kawai K5000 string patch and adjusted the ADSR curve a bit. Use the convolution send effect and turn down the Morpheus while turning up the Kawai. The result is a very ambient and interesting string patch. <laughs> Play with this even further by adding more delays or doing some pitch shifting to the emu and changing out the strings to whatever else you want. So that's just a quick taste of what you can do with some of the fantastic instruments that UVI puts out. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. We just hit that 1000 subscriber mark, so I appreciate all the comments and even the critiques that people leave. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future, and I will see you on the other side of the mountain. Something's wrong. I know something's wrong. I don't need any help. Crouch. Something's wrong. I know something.